dear viewer today we will discuss how to create a database in excel server so we have the different steps first of all we have to open the ssms sql server management studio open ssms so we have to write over here ssms sql server management studio we have here uh, yeah, the sql server management studio 2017 so click over here on SQL Server Management Studio. So it will take little time to start the SQL Server Management Studio. When it opens, then we have to mention the different set of the databases are there. So we are having the different type of the database engine are there. So uh, server types are there. We, I have the different type of the database server engine. Like one is the database engine, analytical engine, reporting engine, and integration services. So database engine is related to the different type of the storage of the database. Like uh, if you want to create the new database, insert data, update data, where we have to store the data, everything will be available in the database engine. So to perform the different type of analysis services, uh, like we have to multi-dimensional databases, for that one we are having the type of analysis services, reporting services to generate the different type of report using the SSRS, and integration services to integrate data from the Various heterogeneous or homogeneous sources we can use integration services. Although uh, normally we have the database engine in every installation, while uh, for other type of installation uh, we need SQL Server data tool for analysis services, reporting services, and uh, integration services. So today we are going to select it over here in the database engine and uh, authentication. As we have the window authentication, or we can use any the uh, SQL Server authentication. We are having the different type of username and password. We can use that. One. So I am using here window authentication. So I will follow this one. And the next step is click on connect button. When we click on connect button, it will be connected automatically over here. So on the left side, we have the different type of the set of the databases are there. So in next step, uh, connect. And now when we here, uh, so we already connected with the database engine. Connect database engine. So when we connected with the database engine, so after the connection of the database engine, we may have uh, different type of the icons are there. So we can explain it over here, the list of databases that are available in SQL Server. Are available over here in the database. Click on this plus and extend it. So we are having the list of the databases are here, like Adventure Work 2012, Zero Work 2017. We can display any database over from here. Like uh, I want to click over here Adventure Work DW 2017. So we are having the list of table. Click it over here on the table. It will be may extend it. If you want to display the records, right click and select. Uh, 100 or uh, 1000 rows so it will display all the 1000 rows over here so that is uh, existing databases are there how to open it just i'm closing it over here now uh, today we are going to discuss that how to create the database in sql server so to create the new database when after opening the database we have to click over here the new query icon or simply we can press Control plus N or here we have the new query. Click on when we click on new query, the, we can write the different type of the queries are there. So when we click it over here, so here the different set of the databases may be selected. It may be possible that by default you have uh, the new databases, uh, user has the master database. So that will be selected over here. If you want to change the database name, we can change it over here. Any other database can be selected. So I have to create the database. How to create the database? Simply creation of the database. They are right command. Uh, write the command create database name of database. Database name so that we say uh, uh, we say that's a uh, uh, HRDB. Then our database name is HRDB, and then enter. So create database name of database. So database will be created. Although if uh, you want to use the different type of the size of the different type of the files, like we have the two main type of the files that are there in SQL Server. 
uh, one is a master data file and the second one is a log data file so these files they are automatically generated i will show this where this file will be available so currently i am using it over here create database name of database and then click on go select it all of the command create database name of uh, okay i have the issue with the database selling a database so now it's fine create database name of database so done and then click go select it over here and then click on execute or press f5 when we click it over here execute our database will be created automatically now if we click it over here exit refresh it over here so it will display the details of our database or even if not displaying just right click over here and click it over here on the refresh we will see that our database name hrdb is here and hrdb current db don't have any table no table is available so our currently we are in the master database using the master database we create one database the name of database is hrdb if you want to uh, when we create the database then uh, now if you want to create the table so table will be created in the database that is here master db so we must have if you want to create new table in uh, our newly created database so what we have to do we have to use it over here use and then database name then that will be automatically selected over here so our database name is here hrd and they click on go select it and execute it press f5 so now you can see that here automatically the database name is changed right previously we are having the master now we have our database name is here hrdb so now if you want to create any uh, table any view or any other operation we can create it over here in this database like i want i want to create the new uh, table create table name of table is employee and i am using it over here uh, like this data data with id uh, sorry in the we are of the name is id data type is uh, we are using the end and identity and i want to use it over here as a family key and then we have the use it over here as a first name the, all of the procedures that we okay uh, first name and uh, then we have to use the data type we say data what's your and then we say uh, we can use it over as the size of this one we say that's our country then last name watcher size of this one is 30 that is not uh, upper case although we can use it every other than that now and then we have first name last name uh, we say that we are having the high date or any other uh, we can use it every email and watcher size of this one is 30 and for this one you need and i am using this last one column that is the salary and that should be in int so and go for every block of after completion of every right use the grave that's a good practice in sql server click on execute button so now command completed successfully it means we create database as a db and then we move to the shift to the hrdb database and and then we have created one table over here let's see and hrdb current data is not displaying just uh, refresh it right click and refresh in table section we will find this one table is available employee table is available if we double click over here so we don't have anything right click in top 100 so we don't have anything currently in this one table so if you want to close this one no record is there now in next step what we have to do 
uh, we have to insert some records insert into inside we can if we are using any other database uh, so and we want to insert the data so what we have to do database name table names then we may be able to perform the operation if we are authorized imply insert into imply list of columns are here uh, like just if you are not writing the column just extend it column names are here id it's over here so drag and drop id even you could write it over there id comma first name it is also saying it over there as last name and then we have the email and then we have the salary okay and uh, we are using it over here the value id is integer so one name is here submit and last name is ellen and uh, we are having the email address as ellen at uh, gmail.com and then we have the salary that is 40,000 okay id was here as a identity and when identity is there is no need to mention the column id so id remove the value of the id and uh, it's also that remove the value from here the value will be automatically generated all the other column values we have to assign it over here so execute this one select it and then execute it so now record is inserted over here uh, after that one although i didn't write but that's good practice to write this one now uh, if you want to display the record let's select from table name is here uh, we have table implies execute it it's the one way to create the table uh, create database then uh, move from one database to another database and then uh, create tables in any database to do. Uh, another way that how to create the uh, database right uh, using the graphical user interface just click right click everywhere on the database section right click and then new database now when we click everywhere on the new database what we have we have to write the database uh, hrd h r d b one right now our this new database name is here hrdb1 so we are having said some one is the primary data file here and second one is the uh, log data file is there it is displaying the size of this one is over here so if you want to check it over here in the d program file and the microsoft excel server so this what this one database are the previous database that will be displayed over here click over here on ok So now new database is created over here. Now currently in this one database we don't have anything. Although uh, currently we are in the database at that DB. So if you want to move to the new database, so either we have to select it over here from uh, at that DB one from this one list, or we can use write it over here use at that DB. So now what we have, uh, if you want to check that where these files are created, where the data is available. So those details available in uh, we have uh, in SQL Server files. We have the program files. And now here we have Microsoft SQL Server. Then we have uh, MS SQL Server, and then we have uh, MS SQL, and then we have the data. So here we create the database with the name of hrdb and dot mdf and dot ldf2 file mdf is a master data file and ldf is a log data file another thing that we created using the geographical user interface here we are having the hrdb1 dot mdf master data file and ldf that is a log data file although using this mdf uh, if you want to move data from one database complete from one system to another system we can attach it for this one 
already video is available link is given in the description how to uh, attach data or analyze data from the database this that is the complete way that how to uh, create the database so creation of the database we are having uh, right simply come out it over here create database in name of database thanks for watching the video